This is an overview of the Portfolio Carousel by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag in your widget inside of the Elementor column. Now, right now, I'm using a section with full width. And this is the Portfolio Carousel by Unlimited Elements. What it is, it's a carousel that you can navigate using arrows. And whenever you hover on one of the items, you can link each item to a separate page. And each item has an overlay with a title and a subtitle. So I'm going to take you over the settings. The first setting is for a number of items. So for example, I can just set this to two and now we see only two items. This field is responsive. So you can jump into tablet mode and determine a different number of items, for example, three, and you can see that gets updated nicely. I'm going to jump back into desktop for demonstration purposes and bring this back to, let's say four. Great. This is looking awesome. The next setting is for autoplay. Right now you can see it's playing automatically every certain amount of seconds. So we can just turn that off and now the uh, carousel will be static and you can only use the arrow keys to start navigating. We have an option for loop. So loop is just when you get to the end of the carousel, it won't start over again. I always leave this on. Navigation is for these arrows. If you want to turn them off, you can just turn that off. I'm going to leave them on for demonstration purposes. And we have margin between the slides, which is this white space over here. A lot of people like using this carousel with no space at all. For example, zero. And the next two settings are for the speed. So one is for the transition speed. So that's the speed. That's what happens when you click on an arrow. You see that takes one second right now. But if I'll push it up to four seconds, you'll see it will be a lot slower. So you can see that takes a couple of seconds. The autoplay interval is for only when autoplay is on. So that's the interval between each time that the autoplay occurs. Inside of items, you can add a title, a subtitle, an image to each item and a link. I'll just replace this image with a different image just for example purposes. So you can see how fast and easy that adapts and how good it looks. You can link. This is a regular link field. Use dynamic if you have pro. And let's jump into the style tab where all the magic happens. So first of all, image height, we can push this up and make it a lot higher. And nice. The next one is for slide radius. So if you have some space between the slides, you can make them rounded if you want to. The next one is for text align. Now the text is only in the overlay right now. So let's just change this to center and I'll overlay one of the columns over here. And you can see that the text is aligned to center. Let's jump into typography. Inside of typography, we can change the color of the text. So for example, I just change that to red or I can make it white or whatever color I want. And we can change the typography of the subtitle and the title. The last setting over here is the space between the subtitle and the title. So if I push that, you can see there's a little bit more space between these two over here in overlay. This is the color of the overlay. So for example, if you, you want to change it to something purplish, you see right now it's purple and not white overlay padding. Now, before I'll change this, I'll go over uh, the setting over here, which is overlay opacity and opacity on hover. Right now you can see that we don't see an overlay at all when you're not hovering. And when you hover, you can totally see the overlay. Now we can switch and play around with these two settings. So for example, you can leave the overlay on with 50% opacity, and then you can turn the overlay off. For example, when you're hovering over them. So right now it's 0 0.5, which is 50%. And then when I'm going to hover, it's going to disappear overall. So check that out. 
So you can play around with this as well and get whatever you want to achieve. Now that it's always on, we can jump back into typography and for example, change the text to white and jump back into overlay. Over here, we have an option for overlay position. I can change that to bottom. I prefer my overlays on the bottom, like you can see over here. And uh, we can also play around with the padding. So if you want to space it out a little bit more, you can unlink this and change the padding from each side. And the last one is for the navigation arrows. We can make these navigation arrows bigger and we can change their color. For example, if I want it to be white and that's how it works. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video.